Hello, I'm Eman720 from Eccentric Gamers, and welcome to Space Engineers. Now, today I'm just here to sort of formally show off one of my more recent builds, which um, was originally destined for the exploration update, but it got a bit big in that the ship is two times the recommended size, so that's not happening. But anyway, it's basically a large, heavily armoured, heavily armed frigate. Although, it's incredibly slow because of such. Anyway, it's got three layers of armour. It's got the outer layers light, then heavy, then light again for the interior. The ship is fully survival compatible. And, yeah, I, I like it, but it's my ship, so I'm sort of biased there. Anyway, as you come inside here, you've got little airlock here and then you come to this room here where you've got doors, staircase, most importantly an interior turret mainly to keep out all those nasty people who want to take over your ship. So we'll start over here by just opening this door. The an identical room because this is the other side of the ship. Just come through here see all the gyroscopes, storage containers, conveyors back here. Also, our reactors. All four of them. Now unlike most conventional builds, including mine, the bridge is not in some sort of fancy area up on top or somewhere up in front. Instead it's in this little box here at the back of the ship. idea being that, being a combat ship, armour would be quite essential. So you have several of the um, control station cockpits here, three facing forward and one to either side. So I'm just getting this one here. So the ship also has four rocket launchers connected up to, the, to this specific cockpit designed to be used as like a siege weapon if you're like, flying at your target. As I said, it's slow, it doesn't go anywhere quick, it's not supposed to. Stop. Now if we go back up these stairs here, back through this door, so as you can see, same as on the other side, it was built with mirroring. down the staircase here. Have a look what's down there. So first thing first we've got medical bays and the bottom of the bridge right there. And if we go through here further. This is the area where we had all our storage compartments and everything like that. Now, while this ship doesn't have its own refinery, it has, I think it's four assemblers, just let me check that. Four, four assemblers. So in that way, if it gets stocked up with goods, it can manufacture its own um, ammunition and spare parts for repairs. Also another um, cargo container at the front here. Now again, go through the store in the middle, and it's the exact same on this side as well. Head back upstairs and have a look at the front part of the ship. But as I said, it's a big ship, so it will lag a fair bit, as you are probably seeing right now. Now, first thing first, we've got high-tech windows. As you can see, there are two doors and a window. And, funnily enough, most people never thought to put the two together, in that um, I did a guide on them, and everybody's like, wow, I never thought of that. Now, if you remember the things on the front of the ship, well, here we are. 
there are two observation platforms or stations inside each one, one upper, one bottom. That close windows. So we'll fly up to the top now. And again, pretty much the same thing. And I'm not going to go to the other side because, again, it's the same. There's no point. So, there you have it. This big ship was originally intended for the exploration update, but it got too big. So as such, I'm just releasing it as a normal blueprint now. Yeah. It's just designed to be a really big ship with lots of guns that no one can damage. Also, it's a really hard ship to get into to try and take over, because you've got to try and fly into this little bit here. You've got to get through two doors, and then you have to deal with that interior turret. And you have to get through another door to get into the other area, where you have another interior turret shooting at you. Get through one more door and two more interior turrets before you are able to access the bridge. So, getting boarded and taken over isn't really a problem. Now, because we're playing Space Engineers, everything has to finish with an explosion. Please. Rather dastardly little device of mine. Get it rotated the right way. Yeah. I'll bust some armor. Considering there was a lot of warheads that hit it, I'd say the ship fared pretty well. See here, uh, the armor was a bit thinner. Then you get to back here. That's one note with those missiles. I cut an entire ship in half with one of them. They are ludicrously overpowered, so don't judge the ship on that. Anyway. Speedy Man 720. Good building and happy flying. See you all later.